Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. So, it's been a bit since I played the first episode. I had to kind of take a break for the holidays and stuff. So, I, there are a couple of changes which may not be readily noticeable. Um, I don't know if I can show you. I can't show you. I actually went back, since this is where we stopped, I went back and I actually decided to be a vanguard this time around. Because that's what I actually was when I played through as Raven Shepard in Mass Effect 2 for the first time. I was a soldier in Mass Effect 1. And I decided to change things up by being a vanguard because, you know, biotics were the, you know, kind of unique and sort of Mass Effect's thing to add to the universe, you know. And so that's why I decided to do vanguard. Um, and I played with it a little bit on the whole tutorial thing up in the Cerberus area. And it's like where they where I wake up first, and I'm actually really liking it. And it was actually something that worked well for my style of play, because generally I'm an up in your face type player, kind of a mid range, close range person. Um, and I was playing with the biotic charge, and that's pretty dang fun. Uh, but on hardcore mode, that's going to be something I'm going to have to be really careful with. Uh, but I also have incendiary ammo, as you can see. Um, any other? I was. Um, I had to play through that beginning again, which nearly broke my heart again. Every time, it just makes me want to just cry a little bit inside. Um, I don't think there's anything else. I basically am a vanguard now, not an engineer. Same, everything else should be good. I was probably a little bit distracted last time, just because, you know, it was family and holidays, and where did Miranda go? Is she not, is she not here? Oh, she was. Talk to Jacob. Hey, let's talk to Jacob. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Exactly. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? Yeah, I do. You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. Huh. That's why I'm here now. Okay. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside of like the Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. Right. If we ever got caught, they could disavow That's what they did back in the day, too. We were supposed the Buccaneers to be free from were, restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Yeah. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. And that kind of thing is really good. Like, politics is good. You, you, you kind of need politics, um, for especially on a galactic scale. It's just how people can work together, you know? But it also can sink a cruiser and taking... It's like vigil, They're basically a vigilante group. Do you know anything about this With all the perks and cons to? that go with it. It's called that. Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. All right. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. I have Pergon points, yay! Now, yeah, I, even when I first started playing, the fact that Jacob's honest, like, that puts him one up in my books for sure, you know what I mean? Woo, okay. Uh, so this is, um. Oh, right, I leveled up, we should do that. Ooh, let's see, um. Uh, I did, I still imported my Mass Effect 1, the level 58 Raven Shepherd. Uh, salvage teams will ensure no incriminating data survive per random recommendation. I'm running a security suit on other cells to ensure well, some of those are only mold, regardless of the cost. Plagic lab. Yeah, it's interesting. These little, I never, I didn't really realize what these were, I think, initially, and now I'll have to pay more attention to them. For importing a level 58 character, I get all of that sweet one renegade point. Meh. Wow. Oh, I've received, wow, 10,000 bonus credits for importing a rich Mass Effect 1 character. Okay. Um, I have received the following bonuses from beating Mass Effect 2. 
100% bonus, experience. Wow, on all missions, retain all heavy weapons. Wow. I like that they do a little report at the end and tell you what you get. I know I've already mentioned it, but I'm probably gonna mention it a lot. I hate this color scheme. I really do. The nasty greens and oranges and stuff, not okay. Not okay. I don't think, anyway. It's like, it's so, it is so completely different from Mass Effect 1's, like, blues and silvers and, like, whites. Completely different. Shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Uh, let's see. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. All right. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Yeah. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. We've got Cracking no target to go after. All right, all right. Time to, I'm excited for Mass Effect 2, good golly. Um, oh, at the time, I've also still got... I probably didn't say... I didn't say it in the first Mass Effect, I think. Uh, in the first Mass Effect 2 episode. Um, but it is after Christmas currently. A few days after Christmas. And I have stitches in my fingers on my left hand. Uh, eight stitches in total. Four on uh, middle finger and my left ring finger. So far, it hasn't impaired how I play, that, as far as I'm aware. As far as I've noticed. But just so you know... If there's an expletive or something, it's maybe because my controller smacked my hand and it's still painful in some ways. <laughs> so there's that. So we did that. Okay. Um, Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's well, somebody could tell us time. something about what happened. Like, it's not just, oh, we're looking for survivors because I'm a saint. It's, that would be a first-hand account, hopefully, of what went down. You know what I mean? I was disappointed that my, uh, well, loud. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys again. I was disappointed that my character's eyes aren't as green. Well, they have, I lie. There, you see those freaking green eyes? Okay, um... I have additional weapons! Uh, let's see. I have... I have a pistol, shotgun, shuriken, or SMG, and a grenade launcher. Hmm, I'm gonna go with shotgun. For now? Effective against armor, weak against shield and biotic barriers. We are playing on hardcore. I don't know if I mentioned that. I, I probably did because we had to go through that in the beginning. We're still on hardcore. Hmm. I'm gonna go with shotgun for now. I'm also gonna have to get used to the reload system. It is too cold for you to be wearing that, Miranda. Who knows? It could be like some sort of Corian environmental suit. Everything she does is for a calculated reason. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Okay. Again, I will I probably will I'll try not to do spoilers for this, like, oh my gosh, you know, but uh because you know, just in case somebody ever watches this who hasn't played. Uh so they don't get screwed up. It's auto saving. The only way to check your mini-map, too, is to do this and see, <laughs> which I will probably do to check, but hopefully not too often. Oh, wow. Never noticed that. The moon or planet. There's a couple. I am going to be extra special thorough, I think, hopefully, is the plan. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Nothing. I mean, there's no blood. Nothing. You guys' shadows are weird. Oh, it's like you're taking too long. Okay. What? Oh, okay. I see. I see. Interesting. Okay. Spare parts. Nice. 
I think, is there anything else? I'm not sure. I know that they do, you can pick up stuff every so often. Do these doors just open? No, do they have to have a little green light on them? It's the old fabrication. This really was just a startup. They had some concrete though, so. Eee! Armor. Oh, right. I also got slam instead because the flashbang grenades didn't seem to be doing much for us. So, I got slam, which works well with my biotic character. Strange. Ah, come on. Security systems kind of like... disabled at the other colonies. Okay, so that's different. That's good. Bring it to me. Get over here. I am not doing very well with this. Hmm. The charge has been fun. Let's see. Rerouting power. I wonder if that's helpful to me. Isn't there like a dog somewhere? Off. Yeah. Oh, okay, you're still alive. Oh, there you are! Hello! I don't have... I had nothing. Nothing. <clears throat> Alright, quick. Hi. Mm. Oh, I forgot. They freaking blow up. Come on. We're gonna charge. Oh, we're gonna charge. Oh, you're still alive! Oh, I died. Wow. Okay, never mind. That did not work. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I probably do better as more of a long-distance fighter, but I tend to prefer up-close stuff. We'll see as I get- Oh, I need an upgrade! I should do that. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. We'll level up things and then everything will be better. Because we are playing on hardcore, so we need to take that- Take any bonus we have into consideration and utilize it. I will be taking drinks throughout this. I do I get really freaking thirsty constantly, all the time. 24-7 thirsty, always. Okay. Journal? Let's check. Okay, okay. Look for clues, it might explain. I don't have any assignments yet. Cultic squad. Okay, I am not fond of this system of leveling up either, but I got used to it, it's fine. Um, won't worry about the incendiary ammo right now. Yeah, because synthetic enemies are more resistant to fire damage. Oh, I do like to get these. Yes. I know that might be a bit foolish, but I, I, to waste point to, you know, do so many points on that, but I do like to get the basic ability out of the way, like filled up ASAP, you know what I mean? Um, charge, envelope myself in a mass effect field, launch myself in an enemy. I now hit with increased force, and the mass effect field is retained briefly to sh Okay, yeah, give me that. Ooh, we get shockwave, yeah! All right, dang. I launch a string of congested mass effect field. Shockwave another, is one that I really, really, really love. All right, that went well, good on us. Okay, oh, yeah, Cerberus operative, and pull. Yeah, do that. Cerberus officer uh, gives her health and weapon damage. More health and weapon damage. And warp. Yeah, I like warp. I'm a fan. I got you guys. I'm so excited. You don't want to know why I'm excited? I'm really excited for a specific character that we're going to be meeting. I'm going to try really hard not to rush because he's in the second wave. Like, you get like four, like, the, you get like four or five people that you need to pick up. And once you pick them up, you can go get the second wave. You get like four or five more dossiers you can go pick up. And he's in the second wave. I'm going to try really hard not to rush to him. But, all dang, I'm so excited. You guys have, you have some idea, perhaps. But I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, okay. Codex. Should we check out the codex and see what we got? Oh, I think we get to pick up. We basically get to keep everything that I got last time, I think. Which is a lot. A lot. Maybe we can see... Garen Station. Uh, 
Uh, mini planets. Right. Okay, we got that. Military jargon. The N7. I actually, uh, when I went to Comic-Con, uh, like a year ago, I actually bought a replica N7 pistol. It's hanging up on my wall currently above my replica of Altair's sword from Assassin's Creed 1. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. I love it. It's so pretty. <laughs> you can only, I think, it, I don't know if it says it here, but I read on, on a wiki or something that only the people in the N7 proficiency are allowed to um, put the numbers on their like gear and their armor or whatever they want. N1 through N6 aren't allowed to like emboss the N, N whatever on their stuff. Okay, we're not gonna look at that right now, but I am gonna save. I haven't saved yet. Look at me. Ah! Come on, I'm trying to like look around cover. Okay. Um. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, am I using a... I am using a shotgun, right? Hmm, it's not doing anything from here. Alright. I'll just use the pistol. They seem to be using mostly armor. So... Are you, is it still back there? I can't tell. I am using the pistol, right? Yeah, not the SMG. Try out the SMG. Ah! Okay. Maybe can I charge you? <laughs> that was a bad idea. I need cover. I'm stuck. Oh no, Shepard! No! Dang it! I was trying she got stuck on the wrong side! Yeah, this is not gonna be this is not gonna be good apparently. I really want the but maybe I should wait to use the charge until I can actually like get decent armor so that I'm not just in the middle of the enemies all of a sudden. Cause to me it sounds like a good idea to charge in, take somebody out, and then turn around and start firing. Like that would prop that would take people by surprise, but they have like pinpoint accuracy, so they're like, oh, we know exactly where you are at all times. I need to get my shields and stuff up, so. Let's change over to the SMG. Nope. Oh, um, that one. You got it? No, oh, do it. Put on your incendiary ammo and I'll put on mine. Too long. Excuse me. I feel like I'm a little bit more accurate. Nope, to cover. Incoming. I might this Shoot controller the might kill me too. It keeps like Oh oh and I have shockwave. I need to play with that. Okay, maybe I'll throw that at the dogs. On target. Oh I can't use it on the dogs because they are oh, okay. Let's uh let's use shockwave now. Haha! -ha. Uh ah. Oh my gosh! I'm sorry guys, I'm really not this bad. Hmm. I probably should have stuck with engineer. It is more long. It's better to keep them at a distance, but it tends to be more fun to play up close. I'm not doing a very good job. I apologize. I'll do better. I also need to kind of get used to it. I can definitely... Uh, I for Ages ago, ages ago, I think I mentioned it, I started... I tried to start playing Mass Effect 2 for a walkthrough thing, or for a playthrough thing. Uh, let's play thing. I don't know. And uh, it ended up... It was back when I, like, way back when I had lots of problems with 
switched my setup. And so it was... Did they switch sides? I think they did. And then Jacob... Um, but yeah, so I ended up not... Um... Oh, dang. But I did notice a significant difference in... No, Shepard, you're an idiot. In the difference between, like, hardcore mode and, and regular in Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 1, I didn't really notice too much of a difference. But, like, it, it, it wasn't that difficult for me, hardcore mode in Mass Effect 1. But I'm remembering now that... Mass Effect 2 Here we go. Was a significant difference. <clears throat> Shoot them before they take off the shield. We need to get rid of these guys. Pronto. Ow. Oh. Oh. Ah. 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 ah, get down. Oh boy. Um. Oh, get down, you crazy! Start regenerating your health, or we're screwed. Target down. Oh, what? There's still somebody over there. Reloading power. Love my power. Right. We programmed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Okay. All right, we made it through. Made it through. One piece. Why not? Might as well. I have a feeling that sometimes mechs pop out here from behind corners. Meta gel. We got it. Oh, perfect. Uh, yeah, perfect. Uh... Obviously money isn't an issue, but sometimes, I mean, it's good to get and it's good to be, to be in practice because sometimes you can get cool, cool things. I see you, Shepard. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. Do I have time, do you think? Fail. Nope. I don't have to gosh dang it. I am not good at this. I need to play smarter. Harder, fast, smarter, faster, stronger. Sorry. <laughs> the death I feel like the death loading screens in this game are much longer than the regular loading screens too. I am just trying to get used to it. I like the idea of, like, I always feel like I'm a, more of a, maybe, this, maybe I think I'm more of an up-close fighter and I'm not. Plus, I've been playing, you know, games where I have been doing, like, the tactical, like, you know, stay back and fighting as a mage or an archer or something. Trying to kind of keep an eye on the battlefield from a distance. Was it? Yeah. Pew pew. Okay, try not to die. Uh, I am gonna change the shotgun maybe for this. We've been spotted. Yeah. Let's see. Warning: Hostile force using non-standard ammunition. Hostile force using you think? Let's give it a go. Whoa! Nice. Careful. They had no arms left. Nice. Okay, that worked. That worked. Oh, salvage. Yes, salvage. Woohoo, salvage. Okay. I mean, how long has this place been, uh, like, abandoned, you know? I mean, there's still lights on and stuff. I mean, they're kind of flickering, but... Do you have ammo? Nope. Okay. 
And I do love the armor in this game. Oh my! Stop right there! Fraza, Fraza. you said you'd let me handle this. <gasps> Dali! Wait, Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Uh, I don't know how to say that. I'll prove it's really me. I don't know what that's gonna say. Remember when I gave you that geth data? Oh! Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is Oh, that's a little Commander different. Shepherd. That's different. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? Okay. I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me. It was money well spent. Interesting. Perhaps we can work together. We're here Yay! looking for a young quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always... Nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No. Nah. No, Praza. You're working for me. Yeah, Tally. Tally's grown up. On the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated That's in our the flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. Or the That's second not one? how I have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. You still hurt people. We can argue people. over who killed who later. Right now, we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get okay. to Vitor. It wasn't personal. Doesn't mean you, did, you didn't actually have plans to like blow up three quarian vessels to get what you wanted. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. I sometimes feel like people don't react properly to me coming back from the dead. Tally's one of those people who kind of does, but she's also, she can't. It's like me, it's like Shepard in a situation where it's like, yeah, Be something careful, crazy's Shepherd. happening. A squad of security but that doesn't mean, doesn't mean you can stop and be like, holy crap, and Tally's grown up. She's a mature woman now, and she, I mean, she was when she was helping us out too, but. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is fun. I'm not. I don't think you get experience from opening these. I'm not paying attention. Down. The one with the weird line. See that one. Was that one. I mean, why not have all the extra monies, I guess? If I can turn money to fuel or money into resources, that would be nice. Boop, boop. Where am I? Where? Oh, there you are. Impressive. Ah. Oh, they're down, they're down. Shields down. Wow, shields are way down. Jeez Louise, hopefully there's nothing coming on the side. Come on, give me some shields back. Okay. Yay. Oh my gosh! Firing rockets, jeez! Oh, there's one up there. Ow, 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 get under cover! Gosh! Oh wow, like I got in cover on that one, but the rocket still got me. Shoot. Lean out of cover to shoot. You can't lean, you're like, you just pop out, in and out. Also, this is the controller that keeps twitching to the left for some reason. 
I really should change it back, but I gave my other controller to some young children, so I don't want, I don't know if I want it back. <laughs> that one was like two years old anyway, but it never gave me any problems. You hear that? Cheapy controller? Actually, not a cheap controller, it's just a regular 360 controller. It just happens to want to act like it's cheap. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Yeah, yeah. I, I see them flying over my head for some reason. They're just like, boopy doop. Incoming. Incoming. Bam! Oh, look, you can see it for a second. Oh, I'm not interested. Okay. You can see my shield for a second, though. Move out of the way, guys. Use You're the only one with overload. You're firing rockets. Not cool. Oh. Man, I hate... I, one of the things I really hate is that if you use one ability, all of them have to take time to reload. I really don't like that. Oh, that was a bad time to get out of cover. Yay. Flying in. Uh, no. <laughs> Hopefully there aren't any behind me. There are. It's a, oh, that's a rocket drone. You need to die. But these guys are right in front of me. I need to. Oh, you're almost dead. Okay. Okay. I don't have shields right now. Okay. Oh boy. Does that help? Okay, there we go. One left. Yes, yes indeed. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on the head. Oh, I idiots. told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. Oh, we come on. We can still well, they him. have solid reason to not like Cerberus, so. I don't blame them. But still, they disobeyed a direct order from their commanding officer, which is Tally, if Tally's the one in charge. You know what I mean? I mean, she may be young, but she is tested, you know what I mean? Like... Ah! I see you! Uh... Oh, uh, okay, let's go over here. Nope, not there, not there. Okay. Did she, like, slide in? That's pretty rad. I need to change weapons. <laughs> Uh, get that rocket drone out of here. Oh, no, no, not fair. Ah. Ah. Yes. Um. All right, pistols aren't very good. I think it's dead, though. Nice. Pistols are my best, well. Let's see, was it? Okay, die. No, get down, Shepard! Ah! Rocket drone. No, oh, Shepard! Just because I tell you to do something does not mean you can just stand up! That platform. There we go. Put him down there. One less. Yeah, that's pretty freaking handy. Yeah, Shepard. We are inside the loading. Dock. I'm trying, but my Shepard. We programmed the heavy mech. It's tearing Praza's squad apart. Oh man. They did want to get to Vito first. Thanks get for uh. Into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. I mean, she's doing we'll what she can. Shepherd, oh hey, stuff. I didn't realize there was stuff. I was coming for the ammo. Okay, so they will probably have armor on in there. We'll start out with the pistol. This, right, that's... We can get a shield, so hopefully we don't encounter any Shepherd. drones. We'll cover the door. Oh, yeah, okay. Um... Uh, yeah, go... Sure. Going to cover. And then... I ah. remember when I first was doing this, I was trying to take cover up here. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. And then it realized that it wanted me right here in the middle. I was like, uh... Okay. Sure, why not? Uh... You guys were so... <laughs> but 
how must the little the other Corian feel? You know, the, the mechs he programmed are killing, uh, killing his people right now. Yeah. Those quarians never stood a chance. Oh, they should have planned better. They got too this is hasty. Be one tough son of a bitch to take down. You're darn tootin' it is. Gall dang. All right, I'm actually gonna call it here. Sorry for the cliffhanger, but I need to call this episode <laughs> before it gets way too long. Too many deaths. We'll figure it out. It'll be good. <laughs> um, so thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments about anything. Um, I think I've addressed everything, but. If you have any questions, just let me know. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.